We begin this afternoon with some breaking news in Columbia, Maryland, where authorities are on the scene of a shooting. Reports came in just after 11 this morning. Howard County Fire and EMS are at the scene right now. People are asked to avoid the area. Right now, the mall is surrounded by, uh, by police um, with the heaviest weaponry that they carry. These patrol officers have their AR-15 uh, assault weapons at the ready. They're guarding every single door. Now, I did speak with a couple of witnesses to the actual shooting. A young woman who said she heard gunfire, maybe five shots. She said she thought, saw three people fall to the ground in the food court area. We're told at about 11.15 this morning, a series of 911 calls about an active shooter in the food court area. Uh, witnesses say they heard at least four gunshots. Some of the witnesses we've spoken with said more than that, as many as eight gunshots. First, one uh, gunshot and then a series of other gunshots after that. Uh, just a horrific scene, according to witnesses. People huddling under tables. Three or four people ran through and they said, run. And I was like, why do you want me to run? And they're like, gunshots. And we all ran into a elevator in the back. And um, two of the staff got us down through the back side and around. And then we all walked around here and we um, holed up in the Cheesecake Factory until we could get to our vehicles. i got to ask you just what are your thoughts about something like this happening in this mall today? Actually, I don't even know if I have any thoughts right now. It's just so unbelievable that, you know, you just come out to go shopping and, and all this can happen so quickly heavily armed officers going into the building. We know the SWAT team is in there working to clear the clear the mall. They're going to go store to store. They're going to go into the Apple store. They're going to say, is anybody here? It's the police. Come out. They're going to search those people, make sure that they're not a threat, and then they're going to escort them out of the mall. It was in a store in the upper level of the mall. You know how many people I'm sure are in this mall on a Saturday afternoon. It's a chaotic scene. We think that one of the deceased is in fact the shooter. We do not think there's any, at this point, that, that there's any more shooters in or around the mall. Uh, we are going through a process right now, and please think about this on a Saturday afternoon at the mall, how many people may be in there. When something like this happens, people run in many directions, and they also do what actually we've trained people to do, and that's to shelter in place. I want to show you this photo also that's shown up on Twitter, and let me explain what we believe this is. This appears to be buckshot from inside the mall. Now, if that is, in fact, buckshot, that would seem to indicate that <coughs> a weapon here used would be more like a shotgun than an assault weapon or a pistol. Live from the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 Breaking News. A normal day at the mall changes within seconds. And people started running and they said somebody's down there and he's got a gun. And I heard at least eight to ten gunshots. Store employees and customers scrambled to take cover. <sighs> got customers that were out front and hit behind the, near the office, behind the wall. When it was all over, three people were dead, as strangers caught in the violence wonder why it had to come to this. Lots of tears and yeah, just emotion. I mean, I'm thinking about my husband, my kids. It's like something you see on TV. It doesn't seem real. And tonight we've learned that two of the people killed in today's mall shooting were employees at Zoomies, a skate shop that's located on the upper level of the Columbia Mall. They've been identified as 25-year-old Tyler Johnson of Ellicott City and 21-year-old Brianna Benlolo of College Park. The shooter has not been identified at this point. The mall has been cleared and remains closed at this hour. We want to give you a live look from News Chopper 7 over the scene right now. Howard County Police say they found a shotgun and ammunition beside the suspected shooter. Tonight we have team coverage of the investigation and eyewitness accounts. We're going to start with Maryland Bureau Chief Brad Bell, who's been on the scene all day in Columbia. Brad. Well, I tell you, when this happened, the mall was packed. Hundreds, if not thousands of people were inside. At this point, many of them were sheltering in place. At this point, they have all been removed from the mall, but the entirety of the mall remains a crime scene, even though the focus is on one store in the upper level above the food court. Check with everybody, make sure everybody's okay as they come out. This cell phone video shows the frantic moments as a group of mall patrons and workers, some with hands in the air, makes it to safety. I'm just glad to, uh, to be out and be safe. Like many, she'd heard the gunfire. It was loud. It was big. It was a big noise. It was so close, you, can, you knew that there was gunshots. Maybe like pop, pop, pop. She was just a few stores away from the Zoomies skate shop on the second level of the mall 
where the shooting happened at about 11.15 a.m. Witnesses say a man with a shotgun first shot a female employee, then a male worker, before turning the gun on himself. A shaken mall worker says she saw the carnage. I didn't see it moving. All I saw was that they were on the floor. Federal law enforcement sources tell ABC7 the motive for this was a domestic dispute. However, the Howard County Police Chief says the investigation is still too new to say for sure. The um, identity of the shooter, we don't know who that is yet. When our officers approached, um, he was obviously deceased, but he was also still... Um, had a, had a large amount of ammunition still on and about him. And so uh, because of concerns about uh, any other weapons he may have or explosives, we are approaching this with an abundance of caution. Despite that risk, patrol officers and then SWAT teams from at least four counties and the state police swarmed the mall. They quickly found the two victims and the shooter, but then they had to clear the huge building in almost every store, people hiding and waiting for police. And we locked everyone in the back room got in the back room and stayed there put. I was shaking so bad I couldn't even get my hands to work. I'm telling you, I was scared. So and now let's turn to a local father who was visibly shaken hours after he and his family had to hide inside the Apple store at Columbia Mall until police gave the all clear. Chris Van Cleve is in Laurel with that emotional interview, Chris. Candace, the Burke's plan was to go to the Apple store at the Columbia Mall, quickly pick out a computer, and then get on with their day. Instead, they spent hours locked down inside the Apple store. They turned to social media, tweeting to family and friends that they were okay, also asking for information about what was going on around them. It was quite a harrowing day. When I said, well, look, let them take me. Just don't let them get to my family. So, crazy thing about it. Wait a minute. Mandrell Burke struggles with emotion. He, his wife Jennifer, and their two young children were in the Columbia Mall Apple Store when the shooting started. Just a quick prayer that we stay safe and let me get my kids to the back and cover them. That was the first thing I thought of. As police responded outside, Apple Store employees locked the doors and moved customers like the Burks to the back room. Every time that door opened, I was trying to figure out if that was going to be uh, an Apple representative or if that was going to be the shooter. So in my mind, I'm trying to figure out how I should position myself to cover my family. So I was scared, and then I feel like I want to pass out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Several people locked down inside the mall posted pictures of heavily armed police as they went store by store evacuating customers. Officers led the Burks through the food court. There were strollers, purses, you know, meals that nobody had eaten yet, uh, chairs put, I mean, it was just drinks spilled all over the place. It, it looked like chaos. One person posting this image of damage from buckshot, likely fired from the suspect's shotgun. For the Burks, it's a reason to hold seven-year-old Darian and three-year-old Taylor a little closer tonight, and a reminder just how close they came to tragedy. That is a life-changing moment. You know, I, I'm in a situation where I could have lost my whole family in one day. Mandrell Burks actually hosts a radio show on Sirius XM focused on issues surrounding domestic violence based on what we're hearing about what may have happened inside the mall today. You can understand why all of it is hitting a little too close to home tonight. I saw a whole bunch of people running in through the store shouting there was a shooter, there was a shooter. Terror and chaos inside Columbia Mall. A shooter opens fire inside a store as customers scramble to take cover. Seeing the terror of people's in their eyes when they run, like just screaming, like, you know, run for your lives, people are shooting. When it was all over, three people were dead. Now, police try to figure out what led to the violence that will haunt a community for some time. This shouldn't happen in you know, Columbia Mall. It shouldn't happen anywhere. And tonight we have some breaking developments in that shooting that took place around 11 o'clock this morning at the mall. Police say they've disabled what they call crude attempts at explosive devices found in the gunman's bag at the mall. Two store employees were killed in this morning's shooting at the mall. They've been identified as 25-year-old Tyler Johnson of Ellicott City and 21-year-old Brianna Benlolo of College Park.
both victims were killed at the skate shop known as Zoomies, which is on the upper level of the mall. Howard County police have not identified the gunman who was found dead near a shotgun as well as ammunition. Five other people suffered injuries, including one victim with a gunshot wound to the foot. They've all been treated and released from the hospital. The mall has been cleared and closed as detectives work to piece together exactly what happened. Our team coverage begins tonight with Richard Reed live outside the mall. Richard. Candace, this is still a very active investigation. We're now being told by sources that police at this hour are executing a search warrant at the gunman's house in Prince George's County. Uh, you mentioned the police chief. He talked about concern about possible explosives or weapons inside the mall. That is why this mall is completely sealed off, closed down tonight, this after a day of carnage. The entire Columbia Mall is now a crime scene. It was so close, you, can, you knew that they was gunshots. The gunfire at 1115 Saturday morning left 23 year old Brianna Benlolo and 25 year old Tyler Johnson dead. Both were employees at Zoomies, a skateboard shop on the second floor. Then I heard somebody say shots fired, get down. Her knees still shaking. Salon employee Lauren Stapleton says she tried to alert her co-workers. I heard more than 10 shots. By the time that I ran from downstairs to my job upstairs, he was still shooting. Meanwhile, an army of heavily armed police and SWAT officers responded in minutes to a call of shots fired as terrified people were running out. When I saw just this, this mass of people running and screaming, there's a shooter and oh my God. Officers would find the two deceased victims and the shooter also dead by his own hand from a shotgun blast. He was obviously deceased, but he was also still um, had, a, had a large amount of ammunition still on and about him. A chaotic, horrifying scene. Many sheltering in place for more than an hour, waiting and hoping that they were safe. We locked everyone in the back room, got in the back room and stayed there put and just locked the doors until the SWAT team came. A terrifying day. This kind of gun violence doesn't happen here, someone said, but today it did. Oh my God, I just never witnessed anything like this in my life. I never thought I would see anything like this. It's the scariest feeling in the world. Now, police sources saying that the gunman first killed Ben Lolo, then Johnson before killing himself. As we said, authorities have been searching in the mall here. Uh, Howard County Police not talking about a motive yet. But we know that investigators uh, found the gunman's car inside the parking lot. Uh, they are, again are not naming the shooter, although we are told they have tentatively identified him, but they are not naming him at this point. We understand also they're looking through surveillance video at this hour for more information in this case. Live from Columbia, Richard Reed, ABC 7. And once again, the headline there, they're executing a search warrant at the shooter's home in Prince George's County. Thank you, Rich. Should point out the CEO of Zoomies released a statement earlier tonight saying the company was deeply saddened by the the violence within its store and that counseling will be made available to other employees in the area. Robert Lyles is in Columbia with more on the two young lives taken within matters of seconds. Robert. Well, kid, this one employee was Brianna Ben Lolo. She lived in College Park and sadly we learned tonight she was a young mother. Her roommate tells me that normally she works the closing shift but came in early today. Her coworker Tyler Johnson lives close by in Ellicott City. He had recently taken a job at the skateboard store and sources go on to tell us that that shooter crept into the back of that store. 21 year old Brianna Ben Lolo's roommate says he's so stunned over her murder. He couldn't bear to speak on camera, but the College Park man confirms she was the assistant manager at Zoomies an employee since 2012 and lived for the job. He says, in fact, Ben Lolo's Instagram page is filled with her two loves, says the roommate, the Columbia Town Center store and her two year old son. This picture of him was taken just three weeks ago. Ben Lolo's roommate says he spoke with her this morning and she was excited as always. Sources now say the shooter entered the back door of the Zoomy store and shot 25 year old Tyler Johnson first. The Ellicott City resident had just taken a job at the store reportedly two months ago. 
Shock friends raced to his Facebook page, posting condolences and rest in peace. Sources inside the mall go on to say the shooter then shot Ben Lolo, a native of Cocoa Beach, Florida, then walked downstairs and turned the gun on himself. But it's Ben Lolo's Instagram post that's both poetic and perhaps foreboding. She wrote, forgive the past, love like you've never been hurt, live every day for today. Now at this hour, it is unclear who has custody of Ben Lolo's son. We are told that she has relatives in the Mount Airy area. At this time also, we have yet to locate the father of the son, but Howard County Police tell us, despite previous reports that this was a domestic violence incident, they are saying that a motive for this shooting is still under investigation. Live in Columbia, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News. And Robert, tonight we're hearing from a family forced to lock down inside an Apple store waiting for police to give the all clear to leave the Columbia Mall. Mandrell Burks recalled the agonizing moments as he, his wife, and two young children hid in a back room. Every time that door opened, I was trying to figure out if that was going to be uh, an Apple representative or if that was going to be the shooter. So in my mind, I'm trying to figure out how I should position myself to cover my family. So I was scared and then I feel like I want to pass out. Several other people locked down inside the mall posted pictures of heavily armed police as they went store to store evacuating customers. And some Maryland lawmakers are expressing their condolences to the victims of today's shooting. Earlier tonight, U.S. Senator Barbara Mikulski issued a statement which read in part, thoughts and prayers go out to the families and loved ones of the victims in the Columbia Mall shootings. Like all Marylanders, she says, I am shocked and saddened by this incident. The governor in the meantime, Martin O'Malley, also issued a statement expressing deepest condolences to the families of the victims and all those affected by the senseless act of violence. He says protecting the public safety is our most solemn obligation. Governor O'Malley and Senator Mikulski say they've re reached out to Howard County Executive Ken Ullman to offer assistance if needed. And Howard County Police, in the meantime, have received questions about when people who left belongings in the mall can return and get them. Officers say customers were not allowed to retrieve items tonight because technicians were working to ensure everything was safe inside the mall. Employees with emergency needs are urged to call mall management. And this investigation is just at the starting phase here. So be sure to stay with ABC7 and WJLA.com for the very latest information. Also look for breaking news updates on our social media pages on Facebook as well as Twitter.